Hey guys, welcome back to some AFK Journey. Today we're gonna to be breaking down a beginner's guide when we first get into AFK Journey. Now we know we have two more days until the global release, so it is right around the corner. Now overall, I'm gonna do kind of an overview. We'll do a couple of videos later that will break down a lot more of the specifics. But overall, when you get into AFK Journey, the big thing is going to be your top right. So the top right up here, of course, opens up the map. This is gonna give you the exploration of everywhere you need to go. It shows you where the chests are, where your monsters are, but also this is going to allow you to teleport all over the world. Now with the open world ex exploration that we have, it takes a long time to walk around. So you'll notice very fast that it does take a long time and this game is absolutely breathtaking when it comes to the design and the layout, the animation in here. Everything is awesome, but it is very time consuming to go ahead and run around the area. So that means that going over here, even right there, you can see it's kind of pinging a new quest. You can use these waystones. It will teleport you to where you need to be, meaning that you can actually continue on your expedition without having to um, go through and just run through it all. Now, a lot of players run through it. Um, on foot, you don't have to, you can go through all those waypoints. Now, a few pro tips in here. When you get to a new area like this, you can also see where your teleportation stones are. Is getting into this area and going and just unlocking those teleportation stones makes a very big difference. So if you get into a new area, unlock both of these stones, that means it's going to flawlessly allow you to teleport around this whole entire place, which of course is gonna make it much easier for movement. And that goes, Case in point with all of the different areas, you can see even a couple places that I did miss a few chests in there. And of course, Key Store and the Iron Hoof uh, Forge are both in here as well. So if you need to teleport to those, it will actually take you to the nearest teleportation stone and then it will walk you from there. Now, it does automatically walk you a lot of places. It makes it a lot easier when you're going through a lot of these game modes. Now, in addition, right here underneath there is the story quest. When you get into AFK Journey, you wanna focus on in, on in its entirety. When you first get in here is your primary quest. So you can see this is our primary quest. This one, uh, Ju, Ju, Jumio, Jumio in Roliet, um, is a side quest. You always wanna go through here and you wanna push the main quest as far as possible because not only are you gonna get a considerable amount of rewards out of going through the main storyline, the, the quest line, it is also going to allow you to complete some zones, but it is also gonna yield you a lot of gear. Now, of course, gear is super important in here, but you have to take the equipment with a grain of salt. So the way that we generally do this, and a big shout out to D2 for really sharing this, is when it comes to leveling up your gear, you can see we have a 160 right here, 145, 125. The only time that you wanna go ahead and level up your gear is if you have a 20 or higher um, improvement that you can get. So if I'm taking, let's say a 125 to a 130, a 135, you wanna make sure you're getting at least 20 levels. So 125 to 145, we are getting at least 20 levels at a time. Now, the reason being for this is when you're going through the main campaign and when you're going through that storyline, you're going to get a lot of gear for all of the different classifications or the factions down here to really make a big difference. Now, if you're going in here and you're just picking kind of pieces here and there, even right here, we're at a 40 level in increase. So essentially that would be good. Looking at this one, it's only 15. That is one we would not forge. Now, of course, when it comes to your resources up here, they do take a while to get these forging stones. That is the reason you have to prioritize the gear that you're getting out of here and making sure that you're going in here and you're building out these heroes, especially in a class that you have. So depending on where you start, what hero you get with your initial draws is gonna make a big difference. So some of the big priority heroes in here, I wanna really point them out because some of them, again, thinking early game, thinking beginner's guide, are going to be very, very important during the beginning. And I choose a couple of these, um, Smokey and Mirky. Of course, when it comes to campaign progression, they make a really big difference. They have an AOE heal, which works incredibly well. And then of course, I do love Cecilia. Cecilia, of course, is going to have the ability to crowd control, which is awesome, especially early game where you can lock people down. Also does a lot of damage. Now. When it comes to a couple other heroes in here that do incredibly well, that you do wanna make sure that you're getting um, Odie in here. Odie is used in a lot of content, the story, um, a lot of tactical, um, a lot of PVP, also for the Dream Realm, which is very important. You wanna make sure you're building out Odie. Odie does a lot of damage 
in that couple in a couple different game modes. Now, looking at the rest of these, Thorin definitely a pickup. Now, again, we see Thorin, and Thorin is actually used in a lot of content in AFK Journey. He's an exceptional tank, even if he does take fatal damage, just like we see in the AFK Arena. He is going to be an, in revived, so he will actually come back to life, which is awesome. Now, when you're looking at the Celestials and the Hypos, if you're putting money in here and you're making a really fast progression, this is the one that you actually want to get is Rainier. Um, so overall, we've seen this hero in a lot of different game modes. You can see it's a Hypo support hero, but the hero works incredibly well in a bunch of different game modes. So going over the gear, going over the heroes pretty quick. Again, it's kind of a general overview, but... Once you came in here, you've played for the day, you're completely done. At that point of your AFK journey, you want to make sure, and this is probably the absolute biggest part of AFK Arena, is the ability to collect AFK rewards. Now, we know in AFK Arena, you get these automatically with your progression. In this game, you have to push progression every single day. This is one of the absolute biggest things, again, within AFK journey. If you want to make progression, you have to do this, and the reason being right here. Similar to AFK Arena, Hero Essence is the absolute number one priority thing where if you've ever played, again, AFK Arena and you hit a wall with resources, it is the Hero Essence. It is the same in this game, guys. It is the Hero Essence that holds everyone back from the progression of heroes. Now, of course, similar to the Resonating Crystal, you only have to level up those five heroes. But when it comes to all of the other heroes and their ability to actually be built, you have to make sure that you're getting a lot of essence and it gets incredibly expensive when you start going in here and when you start building out these heroes. Now, ultimately, going through and getting the essence and you want to push again the AFK progression every time you can. If you're missing this, if you forget to do this, especially one, if you forget to pick up your loot or two, you're not doing your quick rewards right out of here, which I don't advise spending diamonds in here as of right now. But if you're not doing this every single day, it is going to make a big difference between having the ability to make a lot of progression every single time you log in the next time that you log in versus just being kind of stuck in the content that you're in. Now, also note that when you hit level 695, so we know we do have quite a while for this, but level 695 is where you do get two teams. So you need two teams at that point. I know it's a little ways off, but you'll also notice that we get some of our summon envelopes, but we get chests in here. And this, again, is one of the very big reasons why it is not a huge priority to build out the gear. Most of the gear you will get and it will advance in the level as you're going through and doing these quests on a regular basis. So looking at our mystical house, looking just at the Aporium quick, um, looking at the recruitment store, when you're going in here and you're doing recruitments, you will see that these actually come at a discounted price. With the resource generation, you wanna make sure that you're picking up things at this discounted price because it is really well worth it, um, especially if you're looking at your Stargazer orbs, which these are. And then of course, this is heavily discounted when it comes to summons, this game is all about summons. You need to get so many copies of specific heroes. And this is where, of course, the wish list comes in. We'll cover it in another video. But early game, you're going to go in here and you're going to summon for what you can really get. Getting into a guild, very important because, again, you do get some discounted summons. But this is what you want on your monthly. You'll see the guild rewards will actually give you some um, Celestials and Hypo heroes. Plus, you will have the ability to get those epic summons as well as these st uh, stellar crystals they're called in this game, but building that out. The arena store, of course, these are going to be free copies of some of the most desirable heroes that we have, especially utilization in PvP and a lot of different content. But with the more, the more difficult to achieve the rare heroes, they do come out of here. Dream store, dream store, you're going to find that you're farming this again for these heroes every single day. And then the friendship store is, of course, going to come from your friends list, which you want to max out ASAP. So when you look at your friends here, you want to send and receive. You want to get this chest every single day. That is really the big thing that you're driving for. Every time you come in here, you want to make sure that you're filling your friends list and you're really looking at this and monitoring players that are AFK or not playing anymore. You want to make sure you're eliminating them, managing your list on there as well as the guild so when it comes to the guild itself, this is probably one of the biggest area to pick up an incredible amount of loot. When you're going through here with the contribution in the chest distribution, um, distribution, I can't say it tonight. 
Um, but overall, the battle drills are super important. This is something that you're gonna have to build with your guild. This is very, very important. Again, when you look at some of the biggest and strongest heroes within AFK Journey, this is where you're going to end up building them out initially. And also, once you get a little bit further, it's gonna be the exact same thing. So looking at our summons real quick in the Noble Tavern, looking at here, we do have a guaranteed summon. So Vela is in here overall, not hugely effective. Didn't even really make the list for a couple different players that we've kind of been looking at, but the all hero recruitment is what you wanna do. Making sure you're filling out this wish list, which we're gonna cover pretty soon um, in another video. That way we know exactly the heroes that we're looking for within those key heroes. Now the epic ones, these again are the heroes that are a lot more difficult to get. And you can see we have a couple of these built. We have some of these that are not owned or not obtained. But again, we're gonna break this down a little bit further. And then the Stargazer selection, the exact same. This is the rarest heroes within AFK Arena, similar to the Stargazer that we have in or in AFK Arena, not AFK Journey. But overall, this is the opening scene that they're gonna have the ability to skip. But right here is where you do get some of your very very strong epic heroes. And you see, you can choose which one you want. So it's pretty cool. Again, very similar to the Stargazer when you come in here and you build those out. So overall, starting off in this game, again, you wanna start right, making sure that you're farming those AFK, farming and pushing through your quest themselves right now. The rest of it will actually open. And you can see when you scroll out, it goes actually to the map. Gear, don't wanna worry about, especially in the earlier time. Not really a big driving force for the gear because again, it's going to come with progression. If you're farming that AFK pro progress, you're getting all of the essence out of there. That is really what you're focused on. Now, of course, there's a couple random guys around here. This is where you use your gold for gear. Again, as you get further, it will open up more gear. Um, didn't have a lot of places to use gold, but you'll see that they did add, and this is again an adjustment. We have key store there, and then we do have two shops. If you go to actually run over to key shop, it's gonna give you the ability to buy some different items. And this place you'll always kind of come back to because as you're making more progression into AFK journey, you're gonna have the ability to purchase more things. And essentially the more that you spend, the more it is going to unlock in here, which is the way to do it. Consume so many coins to go ahead and build them. And then of course the coins are from the world loot. So as you're making progression, you can double back here. It's gonna give you a ton of EXP, but it's also gonna give you the ability to pick up a lot of different heroes in here. So overall with the beginner's guide, I know it might not be the super basic, but I didn't wanna get down to how to move around here. Um, they've also made a lot of adjustments where when you go around loot, it's just gonna pick the loot up automatically. If there's fights that you can't beat or you're having struggles with, definitely swapping out a couple formations, but focus on 100% going through here with the quests and finishing out the story quests as fast as possible and getting through this content as fast as possible is gonna give you the ability, especially if you are free to play like I am, um, it'll give you the ability to actually move through a lot of content very fast. But all right guys, so that is gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and as always, thank you guys for watching.